Hello everybody, it's Downer. I, uh, I'm i really excited to show you a new contraption I came up with today. Um, I saw Etho's video talking about the block update detector switch and this was an amazing find. Kudos to him. This was awesome and I decided to use this in a practical machine. Um, hopefully this is something that nobody else really thought of. Um, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to explain what each part does and then I'll demonstrate how it works so we can get a good feel for how this would be useful. Um, this is the block update detector switch. This is ethos with the boat and as you see we can place a block and it will activate, activate a switch. This switch then activates a cobble generator forcing a new piece of cobble out every time a block updates and what this is here is a block destroyer and this basically for every block that exists in here it gets up to here and fill it, it'll as a cobble generator works this is actually 12 blocks long so this is the furthest it can go and this is Seth Bling's block update switch. The reason I did this is I seem to have had trouble with Ethos turning it around on its side. I tried to face it that way with the water right here and then I tried to face it this way with the water right about here and every time I did it it would not work right. It wouldn't just not work, would not work properly. I think it has the uh, I don't know if that north, south, east, or west thing was still going on, or if there's just if I was just doing it wrong. I don't know. I tried it probably a hundred different times, and it didn't go. So I gave up. And I heard that Seth Bling had one that was different. And when I saw that, and it didn't use a boat, I thought, Wow, I can use this a little bit better. And the interesting thing is that his is actually much faster. Um, I'll just demonstrate this. By the time the cobble grows its way out here, this is an eight stage bouncer. It'll bounce after eight cobbles are generated. So once the block is updated, it'll clear clear out this bank and will activate well it, this is basically here just to activate the, the block destroyer and that will, re, will clear the memory of the eight stages of the bouncer. Um, after that, this also feeds into another one of Ethos because I had an, a little bit of an issue. If I used Ethos here, I tried to use Ethos here because this actually updates twice. Once for the cobble arriving and again when the cobble is destroyed. So I had to take this and Seth's is a lot faster. Um, ethos is a lot slower. This is good. I actually might have found another use for this. So this is actually regulating the signal. Although this receives two signals, it's not fast enough to update twice. So once it updates once, I fed that into a T flip-flop. Very compact. Just quick. Once it fits here, feeds out a signal out here. This comes out to three pistons, which essentially drops a little bit of a drawbridge to allow for water to spill down this way. Now I haven't gotten to the point, the major point to why this exists here and the point is that I found that wheat has about eight stages to grow. So if it grows in eight stages to full height I can plant a wheat here as soon as I plant a wheat here, why isn't that, why isn't that, why isn't that working? Oh, pick. Whoa, I'm an idiot. Once I plant a wheat here, that counts as the first stage. And then it will grow through all eight stages. Reaching there, activating this, and the point of this, why you'd want to use a wheat as this is in this case, whoa, I'm getting stuck in water. I'm gonna 
fix this. I'm going to update this to shut off the water. That is how you would reset it in my case so far. So I'll shut down the water and the point to this whole project was grow wheat and automatically harvest it when it's ready. So you would plant your wheat here and immediately after you've planted your wheat you would then run return over to Ethos block update switch and you would plant your wheat there. That would be your control. You wouldn't want it sooner just in case because it seems the wheat doesn't always have a definite time but this is a pretty decent system here so I wouldn't expect anything it should be fairly efficient but you would want to plant this as the control after that so that that will be fully grown before this is before this is done. Um, in this case I am not going to plant that wheat instead I'm going to kind of trick it out and first I will use bone meal to grow this to, to, just to see it in action but um, while I'm using bone meal I'm going to use this moment to uh, explain a few things the block destroyer is based on a glitch of the pistons moving too fast and a, a sticky piston against a regular piston and I understood that and I hear a few places that I, I'm hearing that Seth Blings is also based on a glitch that the uh, piston is going to use power on the diagonal surface and not retract when it loses power. Um, these are two glitches and I'm aware of this but um, utilizing them at first I wanted to do this without using um, a glitch however I don't think that there's really anything I can do about that at this point because the block destroyer is going to be a glitch unless you want to build it to get to there and then force power through it with a repeater you could do that just to turn it on or, or make a timer but um, in this case I wanted the cobble to be cleared I didn't want to have to go in there and use my pick to finish the job and that was a glitch and it, Seth, this is a glitch. Um, whether they'll be fixed or not, I don't know. But um, all in all, when it's in when it's in motion and everything works, it's just quite an amazing contraption. I think it's quite cool. So I'm going to take a lever here and throw this on the ground, and we will watch the cobble. as it grows and reaches to the other block update switch and all I'm doing here is flipping the lever for what I would what you would guess would, would which would be every update that the wheat is going to make and once it reaches the end should be right now. Once it reaches the end, the block destroyer will clear the memory and activate the water, giving us a beautiful field of wheat delivered straight to our feet. And I'm a poet. I would probably even it might even be a good idea to activate an alarm either from the back off a clock or up here off of a uh, pressure plate I'm not sure but the alarm would be kinda cool to have because um, you would know that the water is flowing now you're gonna have to go and reset it and resetting it is fast because all you have to do is plop a block there it resets water clears and you're ready to replant your wheat and I thought this was an amazing little setup I am proud of it and uh, I'm gonna say thanks to Ito again for finding a good thing and giving me more inspiration I think I did two videos in one day already and um, yeah this is great um, so uh, take it easy guys and um, 
if enough people want a, want a tutorial, I'll, I'll consider it, but I want to see some people making some noise in the comments. And, um, yeah. Thanks for watching.